inside the actor's studio. I, James Dick. We have natural <laughs> breathtaking show tonight. Tonight, we have a true film god at his finest. From movies such as Bam Bam Went Las Vegas and The More the Merrier. Ernest or cheesy. Oh, Mr. Parcheesy, you are a screen god. Thank you. That I cannot sum up. Thank you very much. I have many questions for you. In Bam Bam Las Vegas, when your friend Vinny wanted to get married and you told him not to, that was incredible. How do you explain that scene in two I don't know, this is, <clears throat> this is such a powerful scene. Moved many people. I would have to say, uh, pie crust. Pie crust. Pie crust. <laughs> Incredible. Thank you. Another question I have for you is your co star, Amanda Jenny Kiss. In, in El Diablo, the story of Amanda Jenkins. How was that? She is a delight. Well, it was cool. But <clears throat> it was tough. I'm a married man, you see. It's just that it's a truly a gentleman. Turning down a beautiful woman would be that hard for me as it is for me to play basketball. And that is hard. I have another question for you, Mr. Parcheesi. If you could describe yourself in two words, what would they be? It's another hard one, but um, I, I've, I've been thinking about this one lately. I thought you'd ask me this. I was thinking Phil Giese. Philip E.C. No, no, Phil, Phil E.C., not Phil. Phil, to be corrected by you <laughs> is like staring into the face of God and him saying, you are my most wondrous creation. It was truly a delight to be speaking with such a man that would make Mahatma Gandhi look like a, a British terrier. Thank you. And up next from such films as Bam Bam Went Las Vegas and the story, it was a documentary of how cow chocolates started in the West Indies and how it could lead to Ebola. When we get back to Inside the Extra Studio, I'm James Back to inside the actor's studio. I am James Lipton. This man is someone I enjoy having every time, which I've never had him before. Make it quick, Lipton. I got a bachelor party to go to. Oh, I don't want to be late. Sir, being bossed around by you is like giving my mom a sponge bath. Ladies and gentlemen, from movies such as the Red Blanket of India, and the year the Cardinals won the pennant, Mr. Albert St. John's. Alright, make it quick. I ain't gotta go to a bachelor party. Albert, like ten minutes. Albert, my friend, <laughs> my compadre. Not your friend. <laughs> just to be acknowledged by him is like farting in the face of Satan. You know, you got some brown in your nose, dude. You might want to wipe that up. <laughs> I will later. I am impressed that you recognize my facial features. I recognize you have a shirt that says God Albert and is no way is that conceited. Are you queer? I don't know. No. Studies say that there is not a gay gene, but I might have caught it 
looking at you. Dude, all right, Just um, go. Where, can I get a cigarette or something? Get this man a cigarette. That's here. You will get this man a cigarette. Right, I don't man. care if you encounter the Marlboro no man. You will get <clears> him <throat> a cigarette. Just ask me your question. But we cigarette. How, how was it working on the year the Cardinals won the pennant? You got to work with Mark McGuire. And they never won the pennant when Mark McGuire was on their team. How was that? Um, it was really good. He was kind of a jerk and thought he was better than everyone else because he got so many homers. I don't know what his deal was. Truly, he is not better than me. So this man right here played Lenny the Bat Boy in that movie, and his role stuck out to me. You were a delight. Don't touch me ever again. Oh, I won't. <laughs> whatever you say. Sir, would you please... Rub my scalp. No. A man of his word. He will not touch me. He told me that backstage, and I just said, Oh my boy, if you were to touch me, it would be like Athena coming down from the heavens of Mount Olympus. Who the heck is Athena? Oh, sir. <laughs> What was that? I'm sorry, I'm sir. To I just an interview it. with a screen god, and if you do not respect that, you can get out. But I... He's first. Please forgive him, Mr. Saint John. Yes, please forgive me. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, Mr. Saint John, you are. Get to the question. Dear God, chop, chop, my knife dear is God, you, you, yeah. Mr. Cameraman, if you would please stop your jibber jabber. It is giving me a. I know it is doing the same for you. Don't sir. touch me! Yes, sir. Sir, do you like Calvin and Hobbes? Yes, it's a very funny comic. Mm. Love Calvin and Hobbes. Mr. Serena, your time's almost up. Time to All right. quick. So, <laughs> Mr. St. John's, uh, it's been 10 minutes. I think your bachelor pad is uh... a cigarette. Go pleasure yourself. No, wait, where are you going? You gotta party. stay here. No way, stop. Stop, no,